Thank you. Madam Chair, Excellencies, Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, I am honored to address the third session of the Global Platform Disaster Risk Reduction on behalf of the Government of Samoa. At the outset, the Government of Samoa would like to acknowledge the leadership by UNISDR in convening this session and facilitating the participation of the Pacific Delegation. We empathize with all whom have encountered the wrath and of natural and man-made disasters and in the past two years and acknowledge with gratitude the assistance of the international communities in yours and my time of need. Madam Chair, Samoa is a small island nation susceptible to vulnerabilities you are all too familiar with. The recent Japan earthquake and tsunami claimed over 2,000 lives. If the same magnitude earthquake and tsunami occurred in our region, it will cause an immediate wipeout of our mere 180,000 population. I hope this fact will put in perspective the context of our approach to disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation. It is not just a humanitarian or development issue, but the survival of an entire nation. Highlights of our key developments in 2006, we completed and implemented the National Disaster Management Plan. We endorsed cabinet and acted, parli um, parliament enacted the Disaster and Emergency Act in 2007. By 2008, mainstreaming disaster risk reduction and climate change became a focus of delivery at national and community level. The disaster risk reduction curriculum was developed and accredited into the national school curriculum for all primary and secondary levels. So by the 29th September tsunami of 2009, we had only just begun to integrate and apply the concepts of disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation, although the practical application of these concepts has long existed in ongoing community programs. In the last two years, government launched its National Emergency Operations Center and the VERTS, the Volunteer Emergency Response Teams Initiative. Taking into account the lessons learned, Samoa has completed the review of its National Disaster Management Plan in collaboration with ISDR. This also coincided with the National Progress Review of the implementation of the Hayoko Framework and the Pacific Regional Framework for Action. These reviews will inform how local action could be enhanced and donor support and government commitments could be better facilitated and directed. Madam Chair, since the second global platform, Samoa's position not to reinvent the wheel by building on existing initiatives is a way to ensure ownership and sustainability. Back in 1996, the Ministry of Health launched a national plan of action localizing the Healthy Islands concept and pioneering a community development program named Ainga Manu Manuia. Coordinated by the Ministry of, Health, of Women, Community and Social Development, the program components include safe and clean homes and kitchens, safe and clean toilets, family level vegetable gardens, access to safe drinking water and others. Beginning with six pilot villages, it now has coverage of over 200 villages and is funded by local budget. It is considered one of the best practices models in Samoa, and it's the opportune mechanism to facilitate and build community resilience. The Minister of Women and Community and Social Development has made a commitment to integrate a disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation into the Ainga Manu Manuia program. Madam Chair, the Ainga Manu Manuia model also ensures the participation of and leadership by women on disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation because it is implemented through the network of village women's committees and working group consists of NGOs, leading NGOs such as Women in Business, Card Targeting Alternative Agricultural Farming, Microfinance and Income Generating Opportunities. Government and private sector has integrated and prioritized disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation. The Community Sector Plan 2010-2015 now has climate change and disaster resilience as one, of, as one of its priority focuses. This reflects the ownership at national level and ensures that Samoan communities are kept abreast of developments relative to disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation. It also guarantees sustainability through institutional commitments, as without the support of these key sectors, our National Disaster Management Office, together with our regional and international partners, cannot claim the kind of achievements we have made today. Madam Chair, 
progress noted by our government is symbolic of the theme of this year's session, where building on local action is at the core of Samoa's case success story thus far. Many a time when we have found to spend, when we have funds to spend, we often try to initiate new ideas. As we do, we overlook the fact that we need to capitalize on what exists already for the purposes of better integration, community ownership, and sustainability of efforts by communities themselves, for only then we could guarantee a safe tomorrow through investment in local action. Thank you, Madam Chair. So forth.